Sarah and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Christmas house tour, so showing you the bits and bobs that are Christmassy in the house. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new and press the notification bell. But yes, let's get to it. First I thought I'd show you just the living room. So this is our Christmas tree. It was meant to be black and silver themed, but I think next year I'm actually gonna get rid of the black, because I quite like it silvery, because the tree is a frosted, so it's got like the snow kind of stuck on it. And I've always loved like these little bits of tinsel, instead of like, well, I've got tinsel on there as well, but just throw these little pieces on. Yes, they're annoying, because you do find them scattered about, but I think it just makes them look like loads more pretty. Um, I got the tree, it was last Christmas, from Argos, the skirt, which is like a little silver present. I got that from B&M, as well as the star. I also got that from B&M, which is a light up one, but I got fed up with it, so I actually just cut the light out. Um, most of these are from B&M. There's a few from Poundland, so that there, that is also from B&M. We've got some little personalised Christmas decorations, there's one there as well. These have only recently been added because Eddie the Elf, um, who is this little fella, <laughs> um, popped them, um, basically gave them the other day. Um, so yes, I love it. And then we've got like um, these little ones, I think they're from Pound Stretcher. Um, I think these normal size baubles came in a pack. And then like, we've got some little reindeer like this, these are also from Pound Stretcher. And then we have 3D ones somewhere, um, which I can't actually find. Oh, there's one hiding down the back. <laughs> um, these ones are from Poundland. So that is my Christmas tree, and also the little tinsel bits of that. I'm sure I got them from B&M last year. I just put them all back in the little bag. Um, here we have the Elf's reindeer. <laughs> this is a Christmas decoration Andrew made either last year or the year before. Oh no, it was in foundation. It's near two now, so made a couple of years ago. I have this Christmas tree here. It is on, but the lighting is still quite bright outside. So that flashes as well as um, stay on. Like the lights now are just completely on. You just can't see them very well. And then we've got some Christmas cards. And then we have our stockings. Most of the traditional stockings are like red and fun and but I wanted to go with a theme. Obviously my theme in my house, well in the living room, is like black and grey. So um, I thought there's nothing better than silver for Christmas so we went with white and silver as well. That's what I think we're going to change the tree to next year, have it more of like silvery and white. Uh, more like this. So this tinsel I got from Tesco, I absolutely love it, I've got it in my hallway as well, it's white and silver. I then got these from Amazon and I just thought they were so, so cute. The star on that one has broken but it looks completely fine. And obviously we've got these little stocking holders as well, they work brill, especially if you've not got like a mantelpiece or anything like what we haven't. Um, and then again, same tinsel, it's just the one piece of tinsel going all the way around and then the same stocking again. This one's Ava's because this one's a little bit lower. Um, I just think they're so pretty. They're not traditional but they're just pretty. Um, I had wanting something for the garland or something there as well but I'm going to have to wait. Maybe I'll get that after Christmas when it gets a lot cheaper. Um, also I got this which is a countdown from Christmas. 11 days till Christmas, woo! Well, sleeps till Christmas. Um, Technically, it's like more sleeps than days, because it would be 10 days, but 11 sleeps. Obviously, for today, for you guys, it would be 10 sleeps. So yes, that is our sign. I got that from Poundland. That's in my Poundland hall. And then in our hallway, we have a light down here, which we've not got on, but it needs to be on. It's just kind of like overbearing by all the coats, <laughs> so you can't really see it very well. And then we have this here which it's not a garland, it is actually tinsel. Lots and lots and lots of tinsel. Um, first what I did, um, if you saw they decorate the tree uh, with us, um, I put some snowflake lights on here. I got these from B&M, they're I think 40 um, snowflakes lights. Hi Ava! 
And then what I did is because obviously it's not covering it very well, I then got the same tinsel that is on our like shelves. And I just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. There is probably about, hi Ava, there's probably about 12 meters of tinsel here, so 12 lots. But I really, really like it. There is a downside to it, it does come away, so now and again I do find tinsel all over the stairs, but it looks so pretty and it looks loads better in the dark. Then we have the front of the house, a pretty garland, which I got from Amazon. Yes, and we have a Santa Stop here sign as well, don't we? That did have lights in, but um, it's not working now, so I don't mind it not having any lights in. <laughs> Basically, we have like a little bit of Christmas in each and every bedroom. That's the bathroom. There's nothing Christmassy about that. <laughs> and then the next is my bedroom. And we have this gorgeous reindeer bed in. Yay! It's not that Christmassy in here. Oh, we've got Batman as well. Yes. But this, if you didn't see the video of my being clean yesterday, this was a bargain. It was meant to be $12.99 from Aldi. But I actually got it for $5.99. And it's so pretty, and it goes. I mean, the blue doesn't, but the grey does. No, we don't need the bathroom either. There's nothing Christmassy in that one. Oh, yes. Eddie one day brought us bath bombs, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Go put it back then, and we can show them your bedroom. Good job. Next is Ava's bedroom. Look at Ava's bedroom. Not really that much Christmassy about it, but you turn around and whoa a Christmas tree this is a three foot Christmas tree you can get them with from Asda Have you turn the lights off turn the lights back on there we go you can get them from Asda with the lights included oh yeah it's your first Christmas one are you going to stick it back on the tree um which is I think the six pounds um this one I got from B&Q they do it in loads of different colors and um, it doesn't include lights. I got the lights, the little tiny ones. I got them from Poundland, so it technically worked out the same price. Okay, Ava keeps taking off the Christmas decorations. So these do um, move around quite often. That's why I'm sticking them back on now, because she's been playing with them. Some of them have broke, which is sad, but... Um, yes, this is Ava's tree. Butterflies are from B&M, and then we've got some silver tinsel and this tinsel. It took me ages to find like a pinky colour, but that was from B&M. These Rapunzel ones, which obviously its arm's broken. And then we've got a aerial one somewhere, which I can't find it. They are from Disney Shop. Um, these ones here, which they came in a multi-pack. So you've got, got Belle and Cinderella, and they were from Primark. And then you've got Chip and... I can't find one. This and I've got And then we've got Chip and uh, Miss Potts, which I can't find on here. Even must have been playing with them. We've got... This cute little sweetie one we got from uh, Asda. Do you want to show Andrew's Christmas tree? Yeah, come on. Yes, it is so pretty. Mommy, come on. Okay, baby. Come on, come on. Then we have Andrew's Andrew. room. Andrew. And we have Andrew's we Christmas tree. We got food. Yes, which is pretty much the same as Ava's. This bow is a bit wonky there. Um. It's a three foot one from B&Q. You can get the same one in Asda again. So yeah, this one was again from B&Q and Asda do have the same ones, like I said, for a pound more. But like I said, it came at the same price anyway because we've got the lights. Yes, and then he's got some like personalized ones as well. So we got them for a Christmas tree a couple of years ago. This one says Lucas, obviously, which is his um, older brother and Andrew. Again, we got the tinsel from Poundland. Um, a load of these decorations are from Poundland as well. Robot. Robot. Yes, and then we have, show everybody the, the car. We have that car decoration, which is from Poundland, the robot one, which is from Poundland. And then we've got the donut one, and then there's another donut one there. Then we've got that from Poundland. We've got Big Ben from Poundland. The burger from Poundland, North Pole bus from Poundland. Oh, and then a letterbox here, which is also from Poundland. The stars are from B&M. Um, we finally found blue tinsel, which we could not find anywhere, which I got from Tesco. Um, and yeah, I think that's the majority of the house stuff. So yes, this year we decided to get the kids their own Christmas tree just because every time we went shopping they saw like little fun decorations they wanted. Ava wanted hers, obviously more girly and princessy and then Andrew just wanted a random fun 
things on his Christmas tree. So yes, I hope you enjoyed our house Christmas tour, a Christmas house tour. If you did, please give it a it's thumbs a up. Subscribe if you're new and don't forget to press that notification bell. But we hope you have an amazing rest of the day and we'll see you soon. See you. Bye! Bye.